The circular economy is very much a step change in thinking, where we're actually designing products and materials from the outset so that they can stay in the economy for as long as possible and at their highest value. So whether that's designing to make things last longer, designing for reuse, repair, um, or even remanufacture, so that we're not losing anything valuable from our economy. Um, so our mission is to really uh, stimulate this transformation towards the circular economy at scale across the area and also at speed. Uh, so every year for at least the last five, we've had at least one, if not more than one, extreme uh, record-breaking weather event uh, that has very much impacted our operations and assets. Um, whether it be uh, the really dry summer uh, of last year uh, or the extreme weather events, the uh, rainfall events that we've had um, every few years within this region, uh, huge damage in Hull, in Sheffield, here in York, uh, all across Yorkshire, some really quite um, extreme weather events. And of course, we have a fundamental role in both of those things and therefore we really very much feel first-hand uh, climate change. Uh, I describe it as our biggest long-term risk as a, as a business. We're, we're feeling the uh, increasing cost of those things and the cost volatility of those resources. We're having to switch some of our processes uh, from some resources which are increasingly finite uh, and not reliable anymore. So they're very much feeling this in a very practical way. It's actually really important for us as well, because we're very much trying to take a lead nationally around this agenda. And the only way we can do that is through collaboration. So no one organisation can address these challenges. Um, it needs to be everybody working together, whether you're the public sector, the private sector, right from the planning stages, to really understand what the opportunities are, how we use the assets that we've got in our patch, and how collaboratively we can make a real difference. Um, we have a construction industry that's um, incredibly energy intensive, it's um, toxic, um, it's, um, it's predominantly uh, populated with synthetic construction materials with high embodied carbon and so for me the circular economy means about building differently, thinking about what we build from, where we grow those materials, I think that we don't really talk about too much, where do we grow our construction materials, so renewable construction materials that are uh, recyclable, they're compostable, um, materials that can be sourced locally because they can be grown locally, they can be bought into a city. The aim today really is to build collaborative networks that we can start to work together on to develop and drive circular economy across Yorkshire. There's a big opportunity in developing circular economy practices, um, developing from the principles in regions. A lot of emphasis has been on cities and now we're taking that step forward to look at a regional level. Days like these are important because it's a great opportunity to share your thinking with other people and having the circular economy approach really does add value and I think could really be a big push and a development going forward, not just in Yorkshire but outside. My specific project is looking at the social dimension of circular economy, so I'm looking at sort of the employment impacts. Um, I really want to focus on Hull and see the skill gaps in Hull and how we might bring some people who have employment barriers back into an inclusive economy using the circular economy space. Part of the steering group um, really uh, come from a, a variety of different backgrounds and I think we're all trying to help uh, again make it uh, actionable and uh, have real momentum. Our uh, challenge was to stimulate collaboration in Malton to make it the UK's first circular market town. We've also set one of our challenges to try and make sure that everybody in Malton has heard of the circular economy within six months. Um, Yorkshire being a real leader in community-led, cooperative, crop-based homes. <laughs> local homes built for local people, by local people, using local materials. I feel like the vibe, the energy is really something special. I came to one of these, uh, the last one, and I really enjoyed it. It's a real cool place to be, and I think that what these guys are doing, there's lots of young people here, there's some great drive, some great ambition, some great ideas.